You are welcome to Adewale Karabe online class. It is a page where you can get the lesson on mathematics that can assist you in your mathematics class. Today we want to work on simultaneous equation. And when we are talking about simultaneous equation, they are the types of equation that has two unknown, two or more unknown. For example, the example we have on the board has two unknown, x and y. We can also call the unknown variable. So, that is simultaneous equation could be any equation that has more than two variable. So for this example, it has variable x and y. And to find this variable, there are different methods to use. You can use what we call elimination method. You can use what we call substitution method. You can also use what we call graph method. You can also use what we call matrices method or Kramer's rule. But for today's class, I'm going to make use of elimination method. There are rules to follow if you want to make use of elimination method. The first rule is that you must first of all check the equation, the variable, to look at where they have the same coefficient. And it will be very easy for you to eliminate at that point. For instance, if you look at this equation, on equation 1, the coefficient of x is 2. On equation 2, the coefficient of x is 3. On equation 1, the coefficient of y is minus 1. On equation 2, the coefficient of y is plus 1. So it is easy to eliminate on y because the coefficient has the same thing, but only the signs are different. So you can eliminate at that point. Point. So to eliminate at this point, once you check where the coefficients are the same, or if the coefficients are not the same, you can make it the same. But for this, it has one and what? A one. So and I want to eliminate at this point. At this point, we can say you are taking that word equation two away from equation one. Like I said, the rules is that after checking the coefficient. The next thing is to check the sign before the coefficient. If the sign are the same, you find the difference. If the sign are the same, you find the difference. For, for instance, if they ask plus and plus or minus and minus, you find the difference between the two equations. But if the signs are different, you find the sum plus minus or minus plus. You sum the two equations. As for these, the coefficient, the sign before the coefficient are different. So you are going to what? You are going to sum these. That is, you are going to add equation one and two. I'm going to take you through this simple process. We are looking at the difference between equation 1 and 2. So, what are the elements inside the equation? Is 2x, 3x, minus 1y, plus 1y, 8, 17. Now, because at the point where we want to eliminate, has different sign, which is plus and minus. The diff signs are different. So, we are going to do what? We are going to add. Can we add this together? We have 5x, 2x plus 3x, we have 5x, minus 1y plus into 1y. That will give us 0. 8 plus 17, that will give us 25. Let's bring that back here. We have 5x plus 0 equals to 25. Then we have 
five x equals to twenty five. This becomes what we call simple equation. So how do you find the values of x here? You divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is what five. That will be five x equals to twenty five divided by five. 5 in 5, that is x, 5 here 1, 5 in 25 is 5. So x is equal to what? 5. So that is the values of the first variable, which is what? Variable x. So to get the variable y, we sub what? substitute x equals to 5 into any of the equation, into any of the equation 1 or 2. Let us substitute x equals to 5 into equation 1 and the equation 1 is 2x minus 1y equals to 8 so anywhere you see x you are replacing it with what? with 5 so that will be 2 into what? into 5 minus 1y equals to 8 2 multiplied by 5 that is what? 10 minus 1y equals to 8 minus 1y equals to 8 then this cross to the other side. Once it crosses the equality sign, the sign change from positive to negative. Minus 1y equals to 8 minus 10. That gives us minus 2. Minus cancel minus. Y is equals to 2. We can say therefore x is equals to 5 and y is equals to 2. Those are the value of variable x and y. I'm going to leave you with the exercise that I have here. Solve it and find the value of the variable for me. Just send your answer to the comments box. As you have it, it has two variables, variable n and n. And this is a simultaneous equation. Find it and send your value, the values of the variable into the comment box. Thank you and God bless you.